Today we really have the battle between two large multi-tools and these are both in the heavy duty category. We've got the Leatherman Surge and the Beta 1778MT. And both of these really have a lot to offer and are very similar, but there are some big differences. So let's first talk about the weight. The Leatherman Surge comes in at 11.9 or 12 ounces. On my scale, it said 11.9. Uh, since I changed the bit holder, I think perhaps that might have changed some. And then the Beta comes in at around 13 ounces. So they're about an ounce difference. The Beta is slightly heavier at this time. Now, when we look at the tool, there are, again, a lot of similarities. So in instance, when we look at plier heads, they look fairly similar. And when we look at the side, we notice the Leatherman Surge has a little bit different design in that it does seem to be a little bit more narrower at the tip, more of a needle nose, where the Beta seems to be more of a blunt nose. Now, when it comes to wire cutters, I feel like the Leatherman Surge it sort of gets a negative point at this time just because the Beta can cut coat hanger wires. Now, my original cutters on my Leatherman Surge are fantastic, but since Leatherman has unfortunately changed the wire cutters, they are no longer to be relied upon until, until they're changed. All right, so the Beta has all the other tools on the inside. So let's go ahead and just do a quick comparison between these two. And there we go. We've got the Beta and the Leatherman Surge. So again, very similar in the length of the handles as well. Now, the Leatherman Surge is $150, where the Beta is $100. That's another big difference. So I think for people... Uh, $50 Leatherman has an uphill climb, but I think Leatherman does sort of level the playing field when you consider that extra $50 gets you warranty. It does get you availability to a bunch of used Leatherman parts. You can switch and swap. And also you get to see what grade metal the Leatherman Surge is made out of. Now, unfortunately, I haven't been able to find much out about the Beta 1778 MT. I don't know what blade steel, I don't know what handle steel, they don't really say much about it. And I really haven't seen anything yet about warranty at this point. Also, the Leatherman Surge will have some features like you're able to add this pocket clip and then some extra tools in the extra lanyard slot like this one I got from the multi-tool store. There we go, dot org. It's a pick, titanium pick. And I did a video on that. All right, so let's look at the outside tools on the Leatherman Surge compared to the large tools on the Beta NT. And I want to be really careful about this one because I keep cutting myself on my scalpel holder. And especially on camera, it's a little bit more awkward. So I do have a scalpel holder and my T-shank adapter. I'm sort of regretting that decision after cutting myself multiple times today with it. But that is what I have right there. And obviously the Leatherman Surge comes with a saw and a file naturally. And then you do have the two knives, the plain edge and the serrated, and then the scissors as well. Now, on the Beta, what we have, uh, we do have some tools that in a perfect world, it could be considered a one-hand opening, perhaps, because you can open them one-handed, but the tools do have a tendency to clump, so keep that in mind. And then we do have the file. We also have this knife right here, and then we do have the serrated blade. So all these seem to be pretty nice implements. The probably the biggest negative being that the file does have a screwdriver on the end, so it's not full length. So that probably will frustrate some people. So compared to the uh, Leatherman Surge, instead of the T-shank, you do get the two tools right there. Uh, so essentially you get the same tools you would on the Leatherman Surge minus the scissors, but we do have a nice pair of scissors, just one tool slot over. So let's go ahead and talk about that one tool slot over. Onto the Beta, it's interesting in that it has these levers that raise the inside tools. So there we go for uh, quicker access. You can get to these tools right here. And then you have this right here in total. 
So the inside tools, I guess you could say on the inner side of the handle will be the can opener, bottle cap lifter. You will have the set of scissors, which we'll talk about next. And then we do have a very nice Phillips screwdriver and the bit adapter. And then these hex key wrenches, seven millimeter and eight millimeter. So let's talk about these scissors. Now, what I found is with these scissors right here, I think maybe my Leatherman Surge is just a little bit dull, but it does seem to be having issues cutting paracord. So let's go ahead, bring some paracord over, and let's see if I get this just right. It does a pretty good job. Let's switch the way I cut, and let's go over here. So there it does pretty good, and there it doesn't, and there it does, and there it does, and there it sort of does. So let's go ahead and take the beta, and the beta cuts, the beta cuts, the beta cuts, and the beta cuts. So I think maybe it is a dullness issue, but for the moment, the beta does win in the scissor department. The Leatherman Surge has a longer T-shank hand, or not T-shank, but longer handle. But when you compare the scissors, they do compare pretty close when you talk about cutting area and size. All right, so that does bring us to the inner tools on the surge. Now I have changed the surge's inner tool setup just on the one side. It still does have an all two screwdrivers, but I did switch out the quarter inch bit holder for what normally would come with a Leatherman bit holder and a wire stripper can opener combo. So this is what you get on the surge. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is you do not have an all on the beta. You do not have the wire stripper on the beta as well. So those are two tools that are missing. But then there also are some tools that the beta has that the Leatherman Surge does not. So when it comes down to it, the beta has a pretty cool toolkit. You have all these quarter inch bits right here that you get. And then it does come with the tweezers that fit in this side notch as well. And then you also get a ruler that nicely fits and slides in the back. This comes with metric and inches as well. Now, when we look at this tool right here, uh, we're able to, let's see, it's on this side, bring out the adapter tool. And this fits very nicely on the end. It does have a little bit of play, but it does seem like a solid connection right there. This is a very solid tool and you get a fairly long reach as well. Now, the only negative with this is that when you have all this in a pouch, it is a very wide, very thick pouch. So it sticks off your belt for a very long ways compared to Leatherman Surge where you just get about one scale of the uh, the bits right here. It's a little bit less intimidating, I guess you could say, sitting off the pouch, but this one is definitely, it's a lot to carry, it's a full toolkit. But I really wish they had almost done something like this where they had added this onto the side or, or off to the side right here, but it does give you a pretty complete kit. Now, when it comes right down to it, which of these tools is actually the best? Well, I think that's up to you to decide. Again, we have a lot. We could talk about, again, the warranty. We could talk about that we don't know what tool steel this is made out of. And then we can talk about price and Leatherman cutters on the other side. So I think both of these have negatives and positives. I'll leave it up to you. But in the end, both of these really have a lot to offer.